On August 12, 1999, Coconuts Japan Entertainment released Soccer Yero, Challenge the World. The title translates roughly to Let's Soccer, Challenge the World, and surprising absolutely no one, it is a soccer game for the Wonderswan. You may remember the developer and publisher of this game, Coconuts Japan, from episode 10 about a fishing game called Umizuri ni Iko. But if you don't, then they are a development shop that put out many bland sports and pachinko titles on various gaming platforms until December of 1999. That makes Soccer Yaro their second and final release for the Wonderswan, and the second to last game they put out altogether. Now I'm going to be straight up and lose all of my sports cred here, I'm not a sports fan. The three sports I actually enjoy are figure skating, curling, and basketball. Most other sports I'm completely indifferent to, but there are two that I absolutely despise, perhaps due to horrible memories of gym class as a kid, baseball, and soccer. I'm not saying this to piss off fans of those sports, but rather so it's abundantly clear that I was never going to like this game in the first place, unless it was one of the greatest arcade sports games of all time. But again, if you heard what I said about Coconuts Japan earlier, you shouldn't be surprised that this is so not that. Music on the Wonder Swan tends to be very hit or miss in general, but this one is getting chalked up as a huge miss. This has some of the most grating music on the Wonder Swan thus far, setting up a terrible first impression, and the length of the loops are so short that you'll be tired of them within a minute, guaranteed. There are three modes to choose from, Exhibition Match, World League, and PK Battle. In those modes you can choose from 32 different national teams, and while I'm not knowledgeable enough to tell you if those are accurate to the rosters at the time, at least a few of the names from the Japanese national team did seem to line up. Exhibition Match and PK Battle are exactly what the names would lead you to believe they are. World League puts you against the other national teams in a tournament to determine the true victor. In a totally baffling move, you can't save data to the cartridge in this mode, but rather have to rely on a password system. This feels inexcusable for a handheld system back in 1999, a year before the introduction of the first camera phone, and years after battery saves on handheld games had become commonplace. Originally my script had a whole section here about my frustration with how slowly players in this game run and how there didn't seem to be any way to sprint. However, during the recording of the footage for this video, I realized that if you double tap a directional button, you start to sprint at a decent pace. Despite that, the game generally doesn't control that well. Diagonal sprints are incredibly hard to get to register reliably, and passing or switching control to another player often feel like they're done randomly as opposed to being influenced by the directional buttons you're holding at the time. The real tragedy here is that Soccer Yaro Challenge the World is the only soccer game to ever be released on the Wonderswan, and I would describe it as mediocre at best. I might not be the greatest judge for what makes a soccer game great, so feel free to take this with a grain of salt. But it's unfortunate that unlike golf fans which hit the jackpot on the Wonderswan, soccer fans really got screwed over on the Wonderswan by getting such a mediocre and limited offering. There are some cute details here and there, like the coin flip animation at the start of a game being really well done, but otherwise this is a definite skip in my book.